So, um, welcome to a uh, review on uh, the Sorrel 1964T Premium boots. Um, I've just recently used these for a uh, a week's trip up to Swedish Lapland. Um, temperatures there dipped down I think, to the coldest was about nine minus 31, but the average was about about minus 15 for the for the week we were there um so i want to do a quick review i won't spend too much time on them i'm not looking at the box the box is just a bit of wood a bit of cardboard um is what it is um but always around the boots i'll tell you what i think of them what was good what wasn't so good um are they worth it will they pay for it got them from cotswold um outdoors um recommend having a look at that they don't sponsor me but i get most of my kit from there um and uh, I get a little bit of a discount, and uh, it's uh, well worth checking out. Um, so plenty of stock in there. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll check them out. So anyway, so let's have a look at these boots then. So these are the premium version. So if I just turn them around, so you can see, um, they have the same. What do they call it? Vulcanized rubber soles. It's a bit of a standard look with the blue and the red and the white trim. Um, the sole on these. Um, uh, if you think of these compared to the Caribou, the Caribou seem to have a a more um, it's a real word, a grippier tread. Um, however, I didn't have any problem with these at all um, sli slipping over. So um, the depth of snow there at some point, I don't know, it's probably about four or five feet. Um, but no issues, even on the, uh, the, or the more icy bits, grip was, was fine. So uh, don't worry about that at all. Um, usual standard stitching, that's all you know, really, really well made. Um, this is the top part, I guess this is what you're paying for, the premium bit. Um, still haven't really got an idea what this is meant to be here. Um, I don't know if it's some sort of an Alaskan ice flow, maybe. Maybe someone who's watching it can tell me, but that's kind of my interpretation of it. Uh, it might be Ireland somewhere in Canada, I don't know. Um, there's like a, uh, like a suede new book skin panel on the back um this little strap here well andy for pulling it on and off um the front uh it's like a, a rubberized material here and it goes down to about there um and then the laces i've seen some reviews people say the laces are um compared to say the caribou's is too much but i mean it's not it's no big drama um and then inside, I'm not taking it out because it's an absolute bitch to get back in, but there is a removable uh, wall liner in here. Um, and then you can see these are a size uh, size 10 and a half. I'm about a size 10 normally, um, and they definitely come a bit big. So I'm a 10 and a half. These are, these are pretty big, but when you've got two pairs of socks on, they were bang on for me. All right, so... Um, some of the things people have said about them is that their socks uh, would ride down and end up like, underneath the, the heel of your foot. Um, to get around that, I can see where that might happen. To get around that, just buy yourself some proper knee-length ski socks. Um, and then I had no issues at all. I wore a pair of um, Bridgedale uh, Mourinho sock liners um, and then these big pair of ski boots sorry ski socks and uh, i never had any issue with them slipping down at all um, whilst wearing them all day um, warmth wise absolutely toast like toast the only time it got a little bit nippy was uh, one evening we went to a bisco and we did like a uh, toboggan um, nighttime toboggan uh, skidoo ride through the Abisco, Abisco National Park um, and the end of my toes just started to get a little bit cold then um, but because we were basically sitting still for about an hour and a half in minus 32 and it was absolutely Baltic but apart from that as soon as you start to walk around again um, I was red hot so I had no problem at all with these um, would they be useful in a minus 40 I think if you're just standing still you start to feel the cold but once you're active moving around a little bit um toast um so a really good hard wearing boot i mean these will last me forever now i mean it's you know unless i go out to sweden and norway again um i'm not going to probably wear them in the uk too much um unless this mini ice age comes that everyone keeps talking about but a pretty cool looking boot i mean they're big but they look pretty cool um they're really effective they're really warm um, I'm a size 10, I've got the 10 and a half, 
that's definitely the right size for me because they, they seem to come a little bit big anyway. Um, get yourself a big pair of long knee length socks. That will stop the slipping issue. Um, but yeah, so I give a definite uh, me thumbs up for the Sorrel um, Premium 1964 T boots. So I'm going to try and do some more reviews. Uh, if you like this, leave a comment, um, subscribe. Obviously, the more subs I get, the more I can try and do. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers now.